Hello community trainers, this is Diego Villafana. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a very basic video testimonial using the YouTube editor. We will be getting to know the layout of the editor and get to know each element on the screen and the options they provide. Then we're going to upload the pictures and video clips we'd like in our project, add some transitions to our clips so that they mesh and play smoother, we will also learn to split our clips precisely and adjust their timing up to the nearest tenth of a second. This will help us keep only the scenes we really want. And finally, we will see how to add text to our project for credits and questions, but not for captions. Some advanced editing such as captions would be very time consuming and ineffective using this tool, so I would recommend sticking with the basic editing. Okay, well let's begin by visiting the editor now. The first thing I noticed about the editor is that there isn't a direct link to it on the YouTube homepage, or at least I didn't find it. So the easiest way to get to it is by using its web address, www.youtube.com forward slash editor. Now you'll have to sign into the YouTube account if you haven't done so already. This is what the YouTube editor looks like. Now let's get to know the layout. The tabs in this part above are for the categories of items that we want to add to our project. Different types of items. The first tab displays the set of videos we have uploaded to our account. The following tab will display Creative Commons videos which are available for us to use in our project even commercially. These are useful if you'd like a scene of some sort in any part of our video. For example, a rocket preparing for liftoff to start off your video. The next tab is the Photos tab. Here you can select any photos you've uploaded to your Google account or you can upload photos directly from your computer. I will be uploading a photo of the California Connects logo for the beginning and ending of my video project. The following is the Audio tab. Here we can select from a variety of tracks which are also available for us to use. We probably won't know many of the artists but we could search by the track name, artist name, or genre. I will be adding a track to my video project at the end. One thing to note is that we cannot upload audio from our PC. And we also can't split or edit the audio track as we choose, except for raising or lowering the volume. The next tab is for transitions. This is to add an effect between video clips in our project. This is very similar to the animations we can use in between PowerPoint slides. By adding one of these, you can make one video clip fade, slide, or shape into the next video clip. The last tab is for adding text to our video. It can be used to give the video a title or ending credits. I'll be using this option to highlight the questions I ask my trainees in their testimonials. As I mentioned before, I recommend you stay away from trying to add captions. The button titled Project is where all of the video projects we work on will be saved, even those we have already completed and published. In other words, produced, rendered, and finalized. Even those we have already completed and published can be opened for re-editing, also known as remixing. One thing to note is that our video projects are saved automatically with every change we make, so we don't have to worry about constantly saving or losing our work. To the right of this, we can save our current project with the name of our choice. I'm going to go ahead and save it as my first testimonial. Publish is the button we press when we have completed our video project and would like to produce and save it on our YouTube account to make it viewable to other users. This area will display the items of the category we've selected. If we select the My Videos tab, we can select the videos in our account that we'd like to add. If we are under the Transitions tab, then we can select the transitions we want, and so on and so forth. On the Shared California Connects account, we will see all 100 plus videos we have all uploaded. In the bottom section, we will find the timeline. This is where your entire video and audio will be displayed and edited. We can drag different items in here so that they are included in our final video, and we can edit their timing so that they fit our videos more appropriately. We can also zoom into the items on the timeline so we can edit the timing more accurately. After we've gotten familiar with the layout of the editor, we can go ahead and start uploading the video clips we will be using in our project. So if we haven't done so already, now is the time to upload all the clips 
in the video. We can upload multiple clips at the same time. And while these are uploading, we can change the name of the file, add the description or tags, but I don't think it's necessary since we will only be using these to create our final video. Now that it is finished uploading, we can go back to the editor. Now we'll be able to find and select our uploaded clips under the video tab. As you can see, when we start a video project, our timeline is empty. To add a clip into the timeline, simply drag it from the set of videos here and drop them here. As we add in video clips, we will be able to see the length of the entire video project here and also the length of every single video clip in our project on its right bottom corner here. These will be very helpful to keep in mind when we are editing and splitting scenes. Below the timeline we will see a zoom bar which will zoom into the project. This will help us edit our videos more precisely. We can zoom in so close so that we can pause or edit a clip frame by frame. When a video is playing the cursor will be moving across the timeline. We can also drag this cursor to any part of the project and begin playing it from there. By default, adding a photo to the project will play it for a length of 5 seconds. We can extend or cut this length to our liking by clicking on the photo and dragging it by its sides. We can edit a photo the same way we can edit a video. We can add some basic effects here, text here, or split it here. I'm going to add some effects to our photo. When we click on the effects button, a window will pop up and we will be able to preview the basic effects we add instantly. We can change things such as brightness and contrast, a random pan and zoom, black and white, or add filters such as thermal, 1960s, cartoon, cepheia, neon, and others. Down below you can click here to preview the effects side by side to the original picture or video. Once you are ready to save the changes, we need to click on the save button. Now I am going to add some transitions before and after the intro photo and in between clips. These will add quality to the video by giving the scenes a smoother beginning and finish. I am going to select the transitions tab and drag a transition into the timeline wherever I want to place it. This is how transitions will look. Personally, I like adding transitions before every question I ask the trainees. But first, I will need to locate and create the individual scenes. So the next thing we're going to learn is how to split. In video editing, splitting is used for trimming certain scenes of a video clip that we do not want to include, so that we could begin or finish playing it at the exact moment we like. For example, if I have a video clip that's 8 minutes long, but I don't need the first minute of it, then I can split it at the one minute mark and delete the first minute of the clip. Let's say after the next minute of the video, the clip gets boring for 30 seconds. Then I could split the video at a new time mark and shift the video over to skip the boring scenes. At the end of our editing, all of our split scenes will be reunited as one to make a nice time edited video. Now let's take a look at it in the video editor. To make a split in the editor, it's important to note the time, in other words, the exact second where you want to split your scene. Make sure not to confuse the length of the total project with the length of the single video clip. Right now we're looking at the length of the entire video. The entire video is 8 minutes and 39 seconds. We're looking at the time, 839, we're looking at the time of three video clips. 38 seconds, 38.2 seconds, 7 minutes and 11.5 seconds and 48.9 seconds. That's a total of 8.39. But when we click on this video, say we want to edit this video, we have to click on it first. Make certain, don't, don't select any of these options. Just click on it with the, when you have the X. Click on this. That's selected. So this one's 14 seconds, and you can actually tell which part are the 38 seconds, and it's, these are here in blue. So when we click on it, we just want to make note of what second this is at. So let's say en primer lugar que me motivó a mí porque el, yo verdad lo necesito mucho en mi trabajo y luego este escuché de esta oportunidad que Let's see. When she says oportunidad is second 25. But 
when she, if I select out, now I'm looking at the timing of the whole video project. This is going to throw us off, so be careful not to get thrown off. At second 25, remember she said something like unidad. Let's say that again. En primer lugar que me motivó a mí porque el, yo verdad lo necesito mucho en mi trabajo y luego este escuché de esta oportunidad. Oportunidad, see there it is. And in the video clip itself, in the original video clip it was second 25, but in the total video project it's second 11. So let's not confuse those two. Let's use this unedited video clip as an example. In this clip, you can hear me asking the trainee some questions and the trainee responding. I want to split the video so that you can only hear the trainee answering the questions and not me asking them. It's very important to click and select the video clip first because we're going to be looking for the exact second to split it precisely. If we don't select it, we'll be looking at the length of the entire video project. Entonces, este, pues le unas preguntas que le quería hacer a usted, Marina Hernández. Quería preguntarle, pues, ¿qué fue lo que lo, la motivó a usted a venir a las clases de computación? En primer lugar, que me motivó a mí porque... El... If you can see that, I, I stopped talking at second 14. So I'm going to want to split at second 14 of this video clip. Again, it's important to click on the single individual video clip because this will display this will display the length of the single video clip as opposed to the display of the entire project when we click out of the single video clip you can see it's not selected anymore and it shows us the time of the entire video project but when we click inside of it we can tell that it's the single individual clips duration or length so in the single duration of the video, the second I'm looking for is 14. So I'm going to go ahead and try to split this at second 14. You can see here goes second 1, 2, 3, 4. 14 is where I stop. I'm going to split. And to split it, we actually have to move the mouse up and click on the button. Make sure, make sure that button down there where the 14.2 is, make sure that's at 14.2. I'm going to split here. There we go. So now I could even zoom in a little bit more so I could see the timing better. And I could see that if I start playing here, at second 14, that's when I stop talking and that's where I want to get rid of. I'm going to want to get rid of this clip. Okay. So we can see that that's exactly where I stopped talking, and I'm going to get rid of this clip. I don't want my side of the story and me talking. Now, I can zoom back out. Now you can see that it starts. Now the length of the whole project, I'm going to go back and see if we can see it all. Get this whole zoom thing correct. So I can see the whole project. And I can see that the whole project now lasts 8.42 as opposed to 8.56. And the beginning of the clip, so the beginning of the project, now begins where she starts talking. And that's how you split a clip so you can keep only the scenes that you want. This split, this video where I just split it, that's when I start talking. So if I hit play, this is exactly when I start talking. And you can see that at second 55, I am done talking. So second 55, that's what I'm looking for. See, it's very close. Second 55, and that's where I hit the split. Those three seconds, or two, or actually 2.4 seconds, that's me talking. That's the exact time of me talking. So I'm going to play it just to make sure. That's exactly me. So that's the clip. Those two seconds are the ones that I want to get rid of. Exit that. And now you can see that this video clip starts off again where I finish talking. That's been cut out and starts off where she starts talking. And that's how you split. Now, another thing you could do is drag 
is drag the edges of a selected video clip to add or remove a second. So if you just drag it outward, then you're adding seconds. It'll begin earlier in that video clip by one second. See here, that's 53 seconds. That's where I'm halfway talking. So if I let it go right there, this clip will now begin halfway through my speech. That's exactly what happens. So I can go back and edit it at, at second 55 of this clip. So 55 is where I wanted to end it. Or what? sorry, I wanted to begin it. So I'm going to leave it at it's kind of tricky, but you're used to it. So finally, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to add text to your video so that you could um, use it for credits, or I like using it um, to highlight the questions that I ask my trainees. So we're going to learn how to use text. We've already seen how to add photos, how to add transitions, how to split the video clips, so we can keep the scenes we like. Now at the very end, I'm gonna add, the first thing I'm gonna add is some credits to my video. So I'm gonna scroll up to the text tab up here and add a slide. I think I'm gonna choose a slide option so that the credits slide in. So when we choose some text to slide in, preview how the text is gonna look. We can edit things like the font, the size, boldness, color, or background color. So you can see it automatically previews um, what it's going to look like. Now we click on save to save the changes. And this is what that ending credit is going to look like. Scrolls in. I also went ahead and added a California Connects picture at the very end with a transition but that's what it's going to look like. The last thing we're going to see is how to add text inside a video clip. I like using this for when I ask the trainee some questions so that it looks like this. So to do this, we're going to click on the letter A inside the video clip, this A option. That's to add text to the screen. And we can choose, again, all kinds of things such as fonts, the size, the bold, the color, and it's going to be automatically being previewed as we're editing it. As long as enabled text, this little box right there for enabled text, as long as that's clip checked, then we will be previewing it with the text that we write. So our final result will look like this. Then we're going to click on the save button and save the changes. And I'm going to do this for the rest of the video. Wherever there's a question, I will add text to highlight the question. Now the last thing we're going to do is learn how to add a track. So to add a track to our video, we're going to want to click on the tr on the track tab and drag a track that we like into the video. More than likely we're going to have to lower the volume to the very bottom because it's going to be too loud. It's going to cancel out our audio on our video. But um, other than editing the volume, you can't edit much. I know the song gets clipped up at the end of the video here. So here, instead of being 5 minutes and 35 seconds, it's going to get cut off at 3 minutes and 24 seconds automatically. So we don't have to worry about editing the audio. Well, that's it for the video tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. If there's any questions or we can help in any way, please let us know. Good luck.